Today we're going to be checking out what the new Legendary Lord in the Thrones of Decay DLC has to offer. I don't think I'll be playing him anytime soon, but it will be nice to know what I'm going to be facing up against. I think he starts near where Throt starts. Could be wrong though. Tanky, disgusting, inevitable. Look at him! He's glorious! Yeah, well, that's basically the normal. fantasy of building a warband from scratch. Good work, Kaysk. I Wait, can what is that? My right hand thing. But he also has these kind of nerdly abilities which make him really disgusting and awesome. <laughs> really disgusting and awesome. Yeah, that Temekin sums up the Nurgle. Lord sums up Nurgle. Has puppeted many powerful and grotesque faces, too. but none have served him quite like Karaka Break Mountain. It is in this ogre tyrant's decaying flesh that Temekin seeks to gather a great horde and fulfill a twisted prophecy of- Hmm, you guys did say in the comments that the Tamarkan isn't the ogre itself, it's the parasite inside of disease him. Disease and desolation. Ah, uh, delusions of grandeur and questionable hygiene, my kind of legendary lord. We're diving into Tamakun's Immortal Empires campaign with ambitions of painting the world green as Nurgle's favoured. We're kicking off in Kudatha, smack bang in the middle of the northern chaos waste, and we're already running into some angry Norskans. Must be the smell. I'd apologise, but I'd, <laughs> I'm not sorry. Because what's there uh. to be sorry about? Look at him! He's glorious! A solid set of starting abilities makes Temekin a formidable, putrid melee force. Feast of the Maggot Lord is particularly interesting to me because popping back up after Ooh. dying to surprise and harass the enemy general, well, it's just good fun. Coupled with the Maggot Lord trait and a minus three to wound recovery time, and you're looking at a play style that speaks to my soul. Reckless, disgusting chaos. We'll learn more Wound recovery time is when you lose your legendary lord, right? And then you take five turns before they can be re-recruited uh, if that's minus three then you're probably going to be sending him to die <laughs> quite often i suppose about temekin's infectious inspiration soon but for now we've got a garden to build so we'll construct some weeping creepers for the bonus to growth worth noting here as part of the nurgle alterations only military buildings now feature the cycle mechanic to address player uh... feedback that it wasn't great for nurgle's economy for an in-depth yeah, dive into the changes yeah. check out the links below to read the blog I am actually pretty glad that they made that change. I mean, the military buildings aside, like having your economy be on a wave is, um, yeah, it's a bit annoying to manage, I would assume. Much like a garden, a dependable economy relies on stability and an inexhaustible supply of fertilizer. And with that in mind, let's go beat the first slicer out of these Norskans. Tamakan's whole inspiration was the Throne of Chaos novel. The DLC is even named after it in Thrones of Decay. And in that, he builds this huge warband to try to destroy the Empire. And this time, maybe you can make him a bit more successful. <laughs> I he guess he doesn't really succeed exciting in the novel. That I think Nurgle players have been dying to get their hands on. So yeah, he's definitely going to fill some holes in that roster. Tamakan is a really tanky character who has a lot of weapon strength that he can bring to bear against single targets. Where he kind of falls down is uh, when he's surrounded by many other kind of smaller targets that deal anti-large damage or when he's shot at from yeah. a distance. The Nurgle tech tree has been rebuilt from the ground up. Currently it's all oh, about the nice. Realms of Chaos experience where we wanted it to be more dynamic that works for every Nurgle character. We reworked elements of the Nurgle feature set because we thought the theme was there, but maybe it just needed to be dialed up to 11. We designed Tamakan to be this big bruiser beat stick. Swapping bodies feels like it loses a little bit of that fantasy for how we'd envisioned him. That is some pretty impressive weapon strength, I will say. He also adds poison on contact, which makes a lot of sense for Nurgle. Armor 60, speed 45. The speed isn't actually that bad, considering like it's a Nurgle unit. I think 45 is um maybe the same as like a Lizardman unit. Oh, you even have the benefit of Ogre Charge. I've never seen that before because I've never played as the Ogres, but I suppose that adds just bonus charge, extra charge bonus, I should say, on your attacks. And I believe the ability on the bottom right there is cause terror. I could be wrong though. And the chieftains kind of carry where he can't quite handle himself. Good work, Kaysk. I couldn't ask for a better right hand thing. Thing. Okay, yeah. our garden's growing nicely, we're pushing into the blood marshes, and our liquefying mouth plague is ravaging the withering fortress. That's a tongue twister. As part of the Nurgle changes, we've addressed feedback that should make plagues more experimental and less min maxi, so you feel like a real pox brewer. Unfortunately for us, I don't have enough infections right now. Dang. 
Mm, actually, doesn't matter. Our latest conquest has put us in a position to recruit new hideous help. Interesting. From what I can recall of the old Nurgle plague mechanic, it looked much different from that. And uh, I, I think the main complaint was that there was just like one plague that was just much better than everything else. So I'm glad that, you know, you get to have uh, more things that you can experiment with. Hopefully that's actually the case and it's not just, you know, say saying that it's, you know, like that. Tamakan's chieftains are a ragtag band of bile and boils lured to the master of hosts' undeniable dominance. These festering heroes join our cause, bringing with them loyal soldiers from their own cultures. Kaisk the Befouled, Nurgle's legendary hero, has already embedded himself in our army and offers powerful units in exchange for a cost of dominance, which is earned from This menu is interesting. Yeah, I think this is just his unique thing, I suppose. Uh, it kind of makes me think of um, Shadow Mordor a little bit. I, I didn't play that game, but the, the chieftain system, I believe, was uh, something in that game. <laughs> and the menu just made me uh, think of it. Through battles and events. Our conflict with the Norsk and Kurs has won us Case's continuous loyalty, in turn unlocking additional boons loyalty. and powerful uh -oh. campaign abilities. Joining Kaisk is Kargan the Crazed, Katesak Fimdarak, Mornhow, Grokma Freehorn, and Azar Doombolt. All heroes with their own merits, and we'll need to call on each of them to build our unending host. With their That's own actually pretty cool. Grievances to satisfy, Temekin's chieftains will influence the flow of our campaign, but earning their ultimate devotion will be a bloody affair, though well worth the effort. More chieftains mm, info shortly, but for units. now, I spy with my decaying eye Skaven ruins to the south, and if I know my immortal empire's geography, we can expect Boris's Kislevice beyond the blood marshes. Yeah. Skaven or Kislev, Ezar or Kargan. Hmm, we'll get to both eventually, and Kargan's hell cannons are tempting, but the coward in me is crying out for some better ranged units. Let's recruit Ezar oh. Doombolt into our merry band and use our remaining dominance to purchase a unit of Chaos Dwarf blunderbusses. I like that. That you can kind of fill in your own roster depending on what you need and the enemy that you're facing. Just adds an extra layer of strategy. With some angry dwarf and engineering behind us, we'll make short work of the inferior war host. <laughs> short work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm super. <laughs> also, did anybody think that that uh, I think it's a blunderbuss the chaos store was holding kind of looked like a keyblade. <laughs> Could just be me though. Pretty excited for the chieftain's mechanic because it allows you to build a bit of a bonkers brigade. Lots of different flavors of chaos all under the yeah. banner. It was inspired it's by his cool. story, which was uniting different tribes of chaos and flavors of chaos. So we thought it was important to bring to the game. Tamakan's campaign playstyle has him roaming around the the Warhammer map and bringing in all these different cultures in the form of these chieftains. And in battle, these chieftains augment Tamakan's own abilities to smash up enemy armies and cause a lot of devastation. Yeah, it's a good point. One of the things that I enjoy about, like, I guess military alliances is the fact that you can make an outpost and you can recruit units from their faction. It just adds more flavor to your army. And you can also fill in the holes that are left from your faction's weakness. Just like the Skaven not having really good frontline units or like the Lizardmen not having great artillery or ranged units. You can just have your allies do that for you. But in this instance, it's kind of like an in-faction mechanic, which uh, also makes everybody kind of fit into the same theme while still being a, a variety of different units that you get to play and experiment with. Tarakan at his core is still a Nurgle faction. The extra units from different uh, rosters are unique even from some of the ones we've done before. So no one's ever had access to Chaos Dwarves mixed with Nurgle. The Chieftain mechanic is about gaining the fealty of the other flavors of Chaos, getting the best of them, and making the ultimate warhost. Oh, Kaisk's by far my favorite. He's got Toad Dragons. What's not to look? Yeah. Toad Dragons. The perfect remedy for backstabbing Grimgore. Whilst we were busy with Boris, Mr. Ironhide trampled our garden, yet I'm struggling to be upset. Ezar don't much fancy your kind, and he's been positively popping with excitement and overflowing with fealty with each volley of his Doombolt. We've got dominance growing out of our boils, and we're going to use it to field a few Dreadquake Mortars. I told you, Grimgold, that green hurt. skin should stick together, but no. Look what you've made me do. 
Elsewhere, our Kizavite conflict has made Kargan crazed with love for Tamakan, so we'll activate his March of the Crazed ability to refill his army's campaign movement and begin the siege of Karagvrag oh. ahead of Tamakan's slow arrival. That, uh, hmm. <laughs> A little bit scared about that mechanic. Uh, I believe Torox can also do something similar by resetting his movement, which kind of Makes him a little bit insane on the campaign. But I suppose here it's limited by the, the loyalty system and whatnot. That's a lot of orcs, so we've this split into four fronts. Map. Kargan and our Chaos Lord are leading the main bulk, and across the way, we've got one small army and a pair of lonely siege engines. With Tamakan's reinforcements incoming, we've tricked Grimgore into leaving a section of his wall poorly defended. Our plague bearers are about to climb the wall, so we'll have our Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle give them a little something to take the edge off any nasty swords they might encounter. A touch of leprosy should do it. Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle is a mortal spellcaster that brings the laws of death and the laws of Nurgle to the Nurgle roster in a nicely armoured package. Nice. There he is. Tamakan joins the party, so we'll link Mounted our cavalry units up with the main bulk. When the gates are down, our bile trolls will be first through the breach. Bile Trolls are a nurgly twist on the idea of a Chaos Troll. They have this ability which allows them to debuff enemy melee defense, which allows all of your Nurgle units to really hit a lot more reliably. Walls mounted. Gates coming down. The plague can be slowed but never stopped. Who better to spread Nurgle's gift than Kaisk the Befouled? Kaisk the Befouled is this kind of rotting champion of Nurgle. He rides a rot beast, you don't get him on foot. He's fast, no on -foot he's version. agile, okay. he's really not what you'd expect from a Nurgle character, which makes him really interesting. With chieftains mm. in mind, I wonder how Kargan's doing. As you were, Kargan, good work. I'm gonna go play with the Toad Dragons. The Toad Dragon is the big bad beastie for the Nurgle roster. Ooh. It excels at dealing with large groups of infantry and smashing through the enemy battle. <laughs> Unspeakable foulness. Damn. It's a colossal beast. I don't know the exact size in comparison to something like a Dread Saurian. Don't think it's bigger, but yeah, it does look pretty big. Lines. Whilst Temekin and the Toad Dragons break their lines, Azar and his blunderbusses mop up the stragglers, and we deploy some of our heaviest hitters. The regiments of renown for Nurgle are the Rotting Riders, who are a unit of Rot Knights, the Angels of Decay, which are a unit of Plague Drones, Angels of Decay, and Noxbringer, who Oof. is a Soul Grinder. My favourite out of these regiments of renown are the Rotting Riders. These Kurgan horsemen have followed Kaisk since the beginning, but they were once esteemed knights. Mm, Reinforcements, I see. eh? Hmm, I think not. Is it raining down like mini Nurglings there? Feeds on a buffet of orcs. That animation is really cool. For the garden. Our war host grows with our fealty and begs the question who do we recruit next? Oh. <laughs> uh, as expected of Nurgle factions, I suppose. First impressions, awesome. favorite chieftain. Let us know in the comments below or follow our links to wish this now. Looking good. 
It's kind of funny how when filmed like this, the settlement battles look pretty neat and organized, <laughs> but when I play, it's just an absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> I'm glad they're adding more flavor to the Nurgle faction. Apart from the old units that used to just be like slow, they're really tanky, and then they regenerate, but also weakness of fire, I believe. But then now we have some more speedier units and even a mix of uh, other races, I guess you could say, that also worship Nurgle, helping to add more variety to your strategy. I'm a new player to Total War, so I can't really tell whether any of these units are going to be like super amazing or completely game changing or whatnot. But regardless, I hope that you Chaos Faction players are happy with what you saw. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.